16 of Alex Stewart and the 51 of Reese Bourgeois are going to lead the field to green. Through turn three and four. Off of turn four, looking for the green flag. It's in the air. We are racing. 51 of Reese Bourgeois gets a good jump. That 51 car is going to take off to the race lead. And now side by side for the second spot is the 16 of Alex Stewart. And I believe that's the eight or the 17 of Austin Etzel. Austin Etzel in the 17 car is going to slide into third. Leo LaBarbera is going to be in fourth. Big contact in the entrance to turn number one. The 28T of Cameron Thompson goes around to the 90 of David Rockwood as well. 16 of Alex Stewart is going to be second. 17 of Austin Etzel in third. 42 of Leo LaBarbera fourth. Fifth is the 22T of Tegan Ellis. Green flag is back in the air. We are back underway. Contact for the race leaders down into turn number one. The 16 of Alex Stewart goes up in the wall. Big contact. As the 90 of David Rockwood didn't get slowed down in time and made heavy, heavy contact with the 16 of Alex Stewart. As he ended up nosed into the turn one wall. And then got hit in the right rear by the 90 of David Rockwood. Our bass safety team is going to be on site to take a look. 16 car not very happy with the looks of the 51 car. The hand gestures may give it all away, but our bass safety team is on site making sure the driver of the 16 Alex Stewart is okay I'm gonna get everything sorted out here
Lights are off on our Bennett GM Chevrolet pace truck pulled to the infield. Green flag is in the air. We are back racing. The 17 of Austin Etso gets a good jump. 90 of Andy Weller is going to slide in in second. Leo LaBarbera is in third. On the outside, the 17 of Spencer Riddell trying to see if he can make a movement forward as well. Now Spencer in the 17 car. He's going to try to see if he can pick off third and second. Try to do a two-for-one deal. Now the battle for the race lead heats up. The 17E of Austin Etzel and the 90 of Andy Weller. They're going to be side-by-side. Side. Andy Weller is going to take the advantage and jump out to the race lead. 42 of Leo LaBarbera is now going to try to put that machine to the inside on the 17E of Austin Etzel. Side-by-side side for second. Spencer Riddell in the 17 is going to be in fourth. Just behind them, the 22T of Tegan Ellis and the 12 of Chance Rogers with Brady Cox and the 24 machine trying to see if he can find the inside on the 12 car. Andy Weller continues to lead out front in the 90 machine as our leaders work lap number four. Single file for about the top 10 positions. A little bit further in the back, we can see the 50 of Wade Thorne trying to see if he can work his way through the traffic. Our feature one winner, see if he can go two for two here tonight at Flamborough Speedway and our pure stock division presented by McClickland Properties of Cambridge. Battle for six is heating up as the 24 of Brady Cox looks to the inside on the 12 of Chance Rogers. Cox is really going to dive that 24 machine down to the inside off of turn number four. They're going to flash under the stripe, still side by side. Give the advantage that lap to the 24 car of Brady Cox. Up at the front of the field, the battle for second is on as the 17 of Spencer Riddell. He's going to look to the outside off of turn number four on the 42 of Leo LaBarbera. See if he can use some momentum on the top side to see if he can make something happen in the blue 17 car. Andy Weller is welcoming that side as he continues to pull away as he's got about a four to five car length advantage over that battle for second spot. The 42 of Leo LaBarbera holds it, but the 17 of Spencer Riddell wants it. Riddell trying to see if he can work the high side here at Flamborough Speedway. Usually Flamborough typically tends to be a bottom side track, but with lots of rubber laid down this past week, the outside's got a little bit of a stick to it. So Riddell is going to try to see if he can make that top side work and keep the momentum up. Still side by side. Give the advantage that lap to the 17 of Spencer Riddell. Andy Weller in the, Andy Weller in the 90 car lead. Spencer Riddell now in second. Leo LaBarbera on the 42 drops to third. Fourth, the 17 of Spencer or of Austin Etzel. And fifth, the 22 T of Tegan Ellis. The battle for the lead is heating up. Spencer Riddell looking to the outside on the 90 of Andy Weller. Continuing to see if he can make that top side work. He's going to put that 17 car to the outside. Side by side for the race lead off of turn four as they work lap number 11. Leaders work around the three of Owen Brooker. Still side by side for the race lead. The battle for fifth heats up as Tegan Ellis in the 22. Still trying to see if... They can make that car work around the 17E of Austin Etzel. Still side by side for the race lead is Spencer Riddell trying to see if he can make that top side work. Through turns one and two, still side by side as Andy Weller's on the bottom. Spencer Riddell on the top. They've opened up about a four car length lead over the third place running the 42 of Leo LaBarbera. Still side by side for the race lead. Give the advantage that lap to the 90 of Andy Weller. Still side by side. Spencer Riddell now going to see if he can maybe work his way back in line, but no, he's going to continue on to the top side. Maybe try a little bit of a crossover move as now Weller in the 90 car is going to take that race lead, and now they're going to be back single file. Andy Weller leads the 90, Spencer Riddell in second in the 17, third the 42 of Leo LaBarbera, fourth the 17E of Austin Etzel, fifth the 22T of Tegan Ellis, sixth the 24 of Brady Cox, seventh the 40, the 50 of Wade Thorne, eighth the 78 of Nicole Givens, 
Ninth, the 28T of Cameron Thompson. Tenth, the 51 of Reese Bourgeois. Eleventh, the 40 of Mark Allen. Twelfth, the 12 of Chance Rogers. Thirteenth, the 22F of Jordan Fiddler. Fourteenth, the 13 of Dan Cormier. Fifteenth, the 34 of Paul Huskin. Sixteenth, the 84 of Mike Etzel. Daphne Sullivan runs 17th. Owen Brooker in the three car runs in 18th. Our leaders work lap number 16, now 17. Three laps to go here for our race leader, the 90 of Andy Weller. Spencer Riddell, chill, trying to see if he can find a way around that 90 machine. They've opened up a half tradeaway lead over the 42 of Leo La Barbera. Two to go, signs in the air. Two more trips around for the 90 of Andy Weller. Spencer Riddell is still trying to see if he can make that 17 car work to get around the 90 of Andy Weller. He's going to have one more lap to do it as the white flag is in the air. One more trip around for the 90 of Andy Weller. Riddell down into turn one and two. A little bit of a bump off of turn number two. Putting pressure on the 90 of Andy Weller for the final time through turns three and four. Spencer's going to try to throw it in on the bottom. A little bit of a contact, but no dice. The 90 of Andy Weller holds on for the feature win. Spencer Riddell comes home in second. Third will be the 42 of Leo La Barbera. Fourth, the 17E of Austin Etzel. And rounding out the top five, the 22T of Tegan Ellis. We're going to head on down to Quick Wick Victory Lane and grab a word with our feature winner, the 90 of Andy Weller. Down here in Quick Wick Victory Lane. Climbing from the car. Fans, put your hands together for your feature winner, the 90 of Andy Weller. Yeah, baby. He's excited. Who isn't excited down in Quick Wick Victory Lane? I'm going to grab a word here with Andy. I'm going to grab a drink of water there. Andy, you had to work You had to work pretty hard to get that win. How were you able to hold off the rest of the field in this 90 machine tonight to get you guys to Quick Wick Victory Lane? Yeah, baby. All right. I got a good crew tonight. We had some kinks in the car. We got worked out as good as we could. And uh, I got lucky and got out in the lead there. And um, the boys drove the boys and girls. They drove me clean, man. So uh, it was really good. I was I wasn't I wasn't aware that anybody was going to try and spin me out or anything. So it was real good. Good night of racing so far, boys and girls. Yeah, baby. Who do you want to thank for getting you guys to Victory Lane here tonight, Andy? Terry Howard and Patrick O'Brien are the guys that are here. And everybody else, Gary Slammer, that helps me all the time. Uh, all kinds of other guys. Uh, I love it here. There you go, fans. How about a round of applause for your feature winner, the 90 of Andy Weller.